Sports fans nationwide, you have entered the Sports Opinion Log here in Lex Anderson World. And there is something that I must address to Laker Nation. First and foremost, Andre Drummond will be starting tonight at center against the Milwaukee Bucks. And of course, the rumors spreading like wildfires across California. LeBron James, the king, the chosen one. We are all witnesses to his greatness. LeBron James has been courting Steph Curry of the Golden State Warriors and potentially get Curry to sign with the LA Lakers. And honestly, I have to make this video sports fans nation and worldwide because the top 1% of the people sportscaster has to say what the nationwide sports leader, Foxy's corporate shells, they sold their soul to the almighty dollar and they won't say it, but I will. Just a thought makes me salivate because you see sports fans curry is a three-time nba champion he put the warriors on his back with his his superb three-point shooting but here is where you separate the haves from the have-nots you see curry suffered Two horrible NBA final losses. The blown 3-1 series lead. Remember that? 73-9. But you didn't end it with a championship. And let us not forget when Kawhi Leonard, the claw, the one-year rental for the Toronto Raptors, banished from the San Antonio Spurs. He literally closed down the Oracle Arena in Oakland, and the Warriors moved into their billion-dollar chase center. Of course, Klay Thompson is supposed to be coming back next year, blah, blah, blah. Kelly Oubre, even though he's there, he's already a trade rumor. Those two horrific history-making NBA final losses that Curry suffered with the Golden State Warriors, that could all be erased with just one, just one LA Lakers championship. You know why? Because the Lakers have built a foundation, a legacy of success founded on the play of guards, the immortal Kobe Bryant, the King LeBron James, and centers, Mike and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Wilt Chamberlain, Shaquille O'Neal, and now, of course, A.D. Anthony Davis. And you might as well just add the other A.D., A.D.20, Andre Drummond. Think about it. Curry, Chef Curry, cooking it up with the Lakers, with the king, LeBron James. And sports fans nationwide, if you do or don't know, let me fill you in. After this season, Kawhi Leonard becomes a UFA. Nope, not a UFO. Those are in outer space. Aliens, extraterrestrials. No, UFA. Unrestricted free agent. As sent to me by my brother from another mother on the West Coast, M6 Drop. Yeah, the Clippers last night had, what, a 14, 16 point lead and lost 103 to 96. Final score to the Orlando Magic that got their first road win since February 12th and snapped the Clippers' six-game win streak. Let's face it, sports fans nationwide, the real ones, not the ignorant masses and the sheeple that bray at whatever little bullshit comes into their empty heads and their empty minds. We know that the Clippers are no longer favorites to get to the finals. You know why? Because one, they lost to an Orlando Magic team that got rid of three of their top scorers, including Aaron Gordon, hello, who is now going to wreak havoc with the Denver Nuggets. Gordon, Murray, the Joker. Yeah, bye-bye Clippers, 
afterthought. And of course, you know what it is, sports fans nationwide. Until further notice, it is my and your LA Lakers NBA defending champions until we're knocked off the throne, knocked off the pedestal, and that won't be happening anytime soon because AD's getting his rest. The King, LeBron James, the chosen one, we are all witnesses, is getting his rest. So, yeah. That's the point. If the Clippers lose in the playoffs again, which they will, and don't get to the NBA Finals, which they won't, dare I, the prophet, decree that Kawhi Leonard might try to find his way where he should have been with the LA Lakers. That's all I'm saying. And you know what else I have to say too, to the sports fans nationwide who have been talking to me and citywide in the city over on the East Coast, everybody is rocking with the Brooklyn Nets. No one cares about the Celtics. Of course, fuck Boston all day, every day. No one cares about the Sixers because Doc Rivers, great coach, but he always finds a way to lose. And no one really feels that the Miami Heat are a threat from keeping the Nets to reaching and getting to the NBA Finals. Despite the fact that Durant's missed, what, is he, has he hit the 25 game mark on missed games? Oddball Kyrie Irving, who knows where he is? Blake Kia Griffin, LaMarcus Aldridge, DeAndre Jordan. I mean, like, DeAndre Jordan at center, LaMarcus Aldridge at power forward, Harden, Kyrie, I mean, like, it's crazy. Someone actually filled me in and told me that KD is actually practicing and working out, but they just don't have him playing any games. So I guess when you could drop buckets like Easy Money Sniper, you don't really have to play in these pretty much meaningless regular season games. And of course, speaking of meaningless, shout out again, M6 Drop. Ah, well, the Nationwide Sports Leader stopped taking my material. Now, all of a sudden, Stephen A. wants to bash Westbrook, which I've been doing for some time because of his inability to win in the playoffs. And now, all of a sudden, Westbrook is a champion of the people. Westbrook, the people already have a champion. We do have a people's champion. His name is The Rock. So we don't need Westbrook to be a champion of the people off the court. His goal and the reason why he earns over $40 million a year is to make the team he's on qualify for the playoffs and try to get to the NBA Finals, which thankfully he doesn't have to worry about because he's with the dead end Washington Wizards. And speaking of dead end, I have to close this video out talking about what happened last night. Elite Eight, UCLA against Michigan. From the first four to the final four, final score, UCLA ranked number 11, 51. Michigan ranked number one, 49. And truly a loss that could be described in only one word. Choke. Michigan choked. It's not just the damning way in which Michigan lost. Missing their last eight shots, putting up three points and pretty much failing to convert a basket over the final five minutes and 22 seconds. It was also the manner in which the game started. Six minutes into the first half, UCLA had, hadn't scored a bucket, but yet... Michigan's lead was only five. And I grew worried and concerned that, you know what? If Michigan loses this game, it would be because of that first half. Because how the fuck are you going to let someone go scoreless nearly six minutes in the first half of an Elite Eight game and you don't turn it into a blowout? It was turned into a close game. UCLA led by nine at the half or entering the second half. And that's it. Juwan Howard, coach of the year, great. But no real accolades. You can't even get to the final four. I was hoping they would have got to the championship. But again, I, the prophet, had decree. Look out for UCLA. I had said it from early on. And I do apologize for falling behind on my college basketball videos due to my schedule and the way in which they're getting these games done and over with. But I had put out the warning 
Watch out for UCLA. They have championship pedigree, 11 championships under their belt. And now they will take on Gonzaga. And of course, you know that I have been saying what no one else is saying. The Zags will fall. The Zags will find a way to lose. And next up, the Prophet shall make forth another decree. Look for UCLA to upset Gonzaga. And as a bonus, I'm going to throw in Baylor to take down Houston. Everything will be going down Saturday, April 3rd. So, yep, yeah, that's what I got. Those are the predictions that's decreed by the Prophet. Thank you, Sports Fans Nation and worldwide for tuning in. Until next time, Lex Anderson signing out.